I know I say this like pretty much every time and I appreciate the Pokemon travel music that's playing in the background, but I, I really don't think we're gonna find anybody working on the cure to the zombie infection down on the docks during happy hour. But maybe, what do I know? I'm just a zombie overlord. Here's a Yeti for your face. What's up guys, and welcome back to Infectinator 3. Now as you guys know, in this series, I have given South America every opportunity to survive. Okay, every possible chance to fall in line with the rest of the world and just be consumed by the zombie plague. And every single time, they spit in my decrepit, decomposing face, and they decide that they're gonna do some more science. They're gonna be the hero, and they're gonna work on a cure. And you would think after losing like half a dozen countries of the infection and having a few nuked for good measure, they would learn their lesson. But no, they've decided that they need to work on the cure again. So today we're wiping out an entire continent. Buenos Aires is not gonna be so bueno once I'm done with them. And I'm gonna try something new this episode, okay? This is a strategy that I haven't tried yet and I'm not super sure about. We're gonna close off these doors and we're gonna make a nice little gestation chamber here for the infection. So I can drop my infection in here where my zombies should be nice and safe and then we can summon all of our special zombies and all of the armed civilians, military, police, SWAT, Angry grandmothers, I don't know, they can't get to my zombies, but then I can open the doors and we can all flood out, maybe? I think I'm gonna use a canister just in case. <laughs> okay, it's not perfect, but it was a good idea. Like, I need to come up with strategies. This game is getting really, really difficult. Difficult enough that I'm, I'm gonna lose. I should be using burgers. I think I need to be... There we go, we're gonna summon some burgers in some corners. They're a little bit moldy, but that's fine. There we go, okay. It's really hard to commentate and think at the same time. What was I saying? This is really difficult. Yeah, it's to the point where I can see how you might need to surrender sometimes. And I, I really don't want to surrender. So hopefully, there we go. Okay, 106 people. We got them all. I'm not sure how many park goers were currently working on a cure. Sorry, the, the maid outfit just kind of melts my brain a little bit. <laughs> you will be the one that I infect last, come to think of it. I'm probably still gonna infect you. You would make a gorgeous zombie. So, are we doing all right? Are they ramping up in difficulty? Hopefully not. No, we're good. So in between episodes, I had actually gone and infected pretty much every country at least once. Like, I wanted to get those really boring kill five people levels out of the way because we've seen them a million times, they're not a challenge anymore. And as a reward, I got Demogrogo. This creature seems unusually scared of young girls. I don't get that reference. All I know is that it's some kind of weird skin flappy monster flower and I like it. Perfectly fine by me. But I also unlocked all the zombies. We have every zombie in the game now except for these five special zombies, which I guess I would get for beating bosses. But now I have stuff like Biker, never without their swarm of tiny zombie groupies, or even Swarmer. There's nowhere to hide when you're outnumbered and they all have grabby hands. I like having a whole lot of grabby hands, so maybe we'll toss you guys in and give you a try. I know I say this like pretty much every time, and I appreciate the Pokemon travel music that's playing in the background, but I really don't think we're gonna find anybody working on the cure to the zombie infection down on the docks during happy hour. But maybe, what do I know? I'm just a zombie overlord. Here's a Yeti for your face. Yep, you know what? It checks out. I didn't find any kind of science going on unless you called the spread of syphilis science. You see all that green mixed around with the red? Syphilis. I'm seriously one zombie away from making you stronger. I, I mean, I'm gonna give him a try anyway because I really want to see what he's about, but at the same time, like, who would take 50 zombies, chop them all up, put them in a pile, and then look at it and say, you know what? This is 49 zombies. This'll never do. It's now to the point where people are running around with assault rifles and wrenches like their cell phones and Starbucks, which is a major concern for zombies. I think I'm gonna go with the zombie gestation strategy again. How about we start the infection in here, we can be nice and safe, and then open the door, and you guys will find your way out. I know you will. There we go. And you know what, plant zombie guy? You can join them as well. I'm gonna open all these doors so that people can start funneling through. Oh, 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 I need to use mines. Or not. 
He just completely wooled Zit. Zit never stood a chance. Holy crap. Who's who's running train on? Oh, they're dead. They're dead. Um, um, okay. Well, I'll get some zombies going over here and everything is gonna be fine. I need to be using mines, even if they're a waste. I just need to summon them. Because I'll get oh oh okay, I'll get uh money back. Who's oh we still got a few stragglers. There you go. You guys are gonna find the nurse. She's got a wrench. Get her, guys, she got a wrench. <laughs> part plumber, part nurse. You have to wear many hats here during the zombie apocalypse. And we're not done. Okay, there's one doctor left. Get him, clown. Leave a burger for him. That works too. Okay, well, you know what? Go and ruin all the fun. See if I care. <laughs> That's fine though. 106 people with 130 weapons. We still managed to get through it, and there's our prize at the end, as always. Really curious what happens if you completely finish the game, wipe out everything, which I didn't successfully do last time. Will we get some kind of crazy skimpy outfit for her? Oh damn, that was it. I didn't realize that was the end of it. Region destroyed, region destroyed, region destroyed. I didn't get any rewards, but my true reward is watching that entire continent burn. And progress goes down. Is that it? Just kind of dead? Do we need to beat the boss? Pablo Escargo, he kicked my ass last time, didn't he? Well, fortunately, now that we have every zombie in the game unlocked, I can start spending my DNA on making those zombies stronger. So we have thick skinned, increases zombie armor by forming a chitinous layer of skin. Okay, increasing damage resistance, that's a front runner. Hyper salivation, increases zombie infection chance by making their saliva more virulent. 5%, not bad. And hypermutation increases mutation chance by unrestraining the mutation gene. 5%, it's gotta be thick skinned, right? That seems really, really good. I need all the damage resistance I can get. Armor increased slightly, and muscles increased significantly. All right, Pablo, where are you? There he is, underneath all those people. Uh, come on, you zombie punks, let's dance. <laughs> Kill them all, okay. And when editing this video, I noticed that like half the people on this beach are naked. Like 99% sure that there's a bunch of little naked 8-bit butts running around underneath Jesus of all people. <laughs> so do we want to focus on the boss or do we want to go elsewhere? I think I want to go elsewhere. I think we're going to start over here where it's a little bit safer. And then we can let the horde move on over towards him. I need all of my zombies over here. There we go. We're going to get a nice strong front. And then we're going to uh, drop an infection over there. That's a whole lot of zombies, guys. We should be able to get the... Find him. Find the boss. Where is he? I don't... Oh, he's over here with Zit. Well, we're just going to have to nuke them real quick. <laughs> I'm not putting up with your horde of friends. No, go away. Go away. Um, Goo? Crap. Crap, crap, crappity crap, crap. Get him, get him, get his, get him and his friends. This is bad. Do you think he would like a burger? He's a chubby guy. Oh, I'm gonna use every consumable. Go, <gasps> did I get a zombie out of that? I didn't get a zombie out of that. No, and he doesn't like burgers. Oh, I hate Pablo Escargo. You're a fat little guy. Why wouldn't you like burgers? City survived my ass. Lady, why are you giving me news about the weather? Zombie lifespan increased temporarily. Oh, temperature has dropped to a record low in 12 years. Nice. No heat means my shambling meat will last longer. <laughs> okay, I like that. So, maybe we go for the rematch of the century? I don't really have much else I can do. I, I mean, I have lots more I can do in the rest of the world, but... I don't know. I, I really don't like using a lot of these. You know, I'm gonna bring mines. I feel like mines will do a good job dealing with the boss and we could just waste a whole ton of money. All right, Pablo, give us your stupid little pitch. He's reading naughty magazines on the beach surrounded by naked dudes. You see, that guy is naked. Look at his little butt. <laughs> Freaking me out. So do I just drop every zombie on him? I feel like that's not gonna go well because then they're all gonna get shot and he's gonna wipe them out. I need to have a horde that can then approach him, but it's really, really difficult to accomplish. Let's start up here and I'm gonna drop burgers and stuff like that as well. I think if we maybe get burgers going all over the place, I'm gonna go with multiple fronts. This might be a mistake. This is probably a mistake, but I gotta give it a try. Oh, there's a whole lot of people to infect up there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh we got him. We did it. That giant ball of people that all got infected. 
Yes, there we go. You guys got this. Look at how good that ball of zombies is rolling through, people. Come on, guys, you got this. Come on. They're just gonna keep funneling in. You can keep adding to your numbers. Hopscotch across them one at a time. There we go. Just a couple of naked boys left. No, you don't want to spread out. Maybe. You, you got it. You, you guys got it under control. Sometimes a little bit too hands-on, being the overlord and stuff, but at the same time, I appreciate their individuality. We beat another boss, which means I do get a new special zombie, don't I? I'm pretty sure I get, well, these aren't special. I get something new, don't I? Yeah, continent destroyed. Ooh, that's what destroys the continent. What? I got Dooman. Brings fiery death from the deepest, darkest hell. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a Dooman any day. That sounds like the derpiest demon ever. Where? Where's Dooman? Who are you? Okay. So he's real strong like the Yeti, but he has zero infection chance. I see how it is. Damn it, South America, why did you make me have to go and do that? I would have been perfectly fine with you guys chilling out and letting me infect other places. Now the whole world is freaking out because an entire continent has gone black. And all to what? Get the cure up to 34%? My infection's at 41%, I'm racing things. So now we should probably move on to North America. Right, I really wanna see if we can get the entire Western world destroyed. So let's just keep moving North. We're gonna go to Mexico City where I need to drop landmines and jars of goo. Every time I load up these levels now, I just sit here and stare for a few minutes and like ask myself, what could I possibly do? What strategy could be employed here? I guess we could start inside again. It's been doing pretty well for me. All right, we can drop some zombies that have an infection chance and the door is open so you guys can slowly funnel your way out here. And uh, maybe you can smash people up here. Yeah, do your own thing. You know what, you're your own person and a uh, nice big infection going on. I think I'm just gonna let Jesus take the wheel. Zombie Jesus, Jesus was a zombie, right? If you come back from the dead, you're technically a zombie. Is that controversial? Is it too soon? <laughs> Probably not. Jesus didn't have to deal with zit, I wanna say. Here, let's just pop those real quick. I think we're good. I probably don't need to waste more consumables. Yeah, I got a whole lot of zombies. I can do all right in levels without bosses now, so maybe we won't have to surrender, possibly. Fingers crossed. I don't think my zombies perform particularly well on the beach, right? Because warm weather makes them decompose a little bit faster. I can only imagine the smell. But I guess that's the least of people's concerns when they're getting turned inside out. I need to summon biker zombies. I don't think we've seen a lot of them before. It's hard not to watch the Yeti work as magic in all reality, but biker zombies can just get spread out. I need to use canisters as well. See, clearly I don't need to use a canister right now. It's kind of unnecessary, but I get challenge money for it, and you earn more money than you spend on the canister, so it ends up being worth it. There we go. Good job, guys. Really cleaned up this, uh, oh, there's one left. There's, there's still a runner. Can somebody, yeah, gee, I love not being eaten. Well, you know what? I, I oh, you might be in luck. I'm just gonna send a biker up there. Huh? There we go. <laughs> and you, know, you try your best to teach them and raise them right, but their brain is still, Hanging out. Speaking of hanging out. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Technically, we're on the beach. It's much warmer weather. I'm just trying to figure out what it is I'm looking at. It was a pleasure roaming around aimlessly on your beaches, Mexico. But now I need to move. Oh my god. We can face off against Drumpf. That is wonderful. Okay, you know what? I'll I'll give it a try. He might kick my ass. He probably will, but it'll be so worth it. Swamps, emails, twittering. Yeah. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, we've trained for this all our lives. Think we want to stay away from him though, right? Just to start off, you know, Americans, they, they love their guns and every other place in the world right now also really loves their guns. So how about we just put some goo lying around? Maybe we can spread some goo. People love running in goo. And then once I get a few zombies going, we get our special zombies to beef them up. This is, this seems to be working quite well. Where's the boss? Where is he? I should be dropping military on him. Hey, we got him. Didn't even see him go. My tiny hands, <laughs> so cold. We did it! Oh, I'm fleecing these bosses now. That feels really good. 
I actually unlocked Zombie Drump. What can he do again? It's a good question. He has to do something, right? Like, he wouldn't be here if he was just completely useless. There's no way people would let that happen. I, I mean, I can see that his hair flaps around and his lips flap around, but he must accomplish something, I would assume. And I completely forgot about this guy. So we need to bring the demon with his corrupt cohorts and Dumon. So it turns out if you beat the boss, then you have a two times chance of infecting that region, which is nuts. Double infection chance? Are you kidding me? I need to wipe out all of the bosses as soon as possible, but for now, we're gonna wipe out all these New Yorkers. Holy crap. <laughs> the demon guy just explodes. He just throws himself up and oh, he's actually spitting up fire. Interesting, okay. Um, I need to, oh crap, crap, crap. I need to use burgers and infect, infect, infect. Oh my God, I almost completely whiffed there. Um, 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 your grenades, uh, uh, there we go, are we good? I don't have many zombies. Ooh, okay. Even with the double infection chance, I almost shit the bed there. Oh, that can't be good. Zit has expanded. Zombie intervention and tactics team upgraded. Surviving countries pool their funding to expand zombie interventions and tactics. Expand them how? They already roll in with their big dick energy and ruin everything. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Infectinator 3, guys. And I feel really good that we got rid of an entire continent, but I'm still kind of worried that we're not gonna finish off the world. I really don't wanna surrender. So next episode, I think I'm gonna start rolling through these bosses. Because if we can manage to beat the bear, Rambo, a lion, a hipster, and Justin Beaver, then the whole world should fall soon after. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.